Right, you lovely people. Welcome to Carrow Road, Norwich City. We are starting a new series entitled Putting Norwich City on the Map. And that's what we intend to do. Uh, and by putting them on the map, I think uh, just keeping them in the Premiership, maybe European football in the future, that would certainly fulfil the challenge of putting them on the map. Um, but to be absolutely honest, uh, I was going to play through the first season, get them promoted, and then start the challenge. But I thought, what the hell? Let, let's start it now, uh, whilst we're still in the championship. So getting promoted becomes part of the challenge. Uh, we're well placed, as you can see. Uh, I'm starting with the Boxing Day fixture. We're top of the league by a point. So if I do make a class of getting us up from this position, I'm going to look a bit of a chump which wouldn't be the first time, certainly won't be the last. So we go into the Boxing Day game, very difficult game away at Watford. Um, but before we go any further, let me take you to the House of Pain, or as football manager refers to it, as the medical centre. If you come down to the bottom left, you can see uh, Sam Bryan, three months still to serve with an injury, but here's the one we've really missed, Timu Puki. Uh, damaged cruciate ligaments, he's still got anything up to two months out. He's been out for the season, crocked. Uh, Tom Huddleston, he's got a month out. He won't be too badly missed, but we do miss Max Ahrens down at right back. He's got another three weeks to serve with a, a sports hernia. Uh, we have got cover for these people, to be honest, um, but not cover of, of absolute quality uh, young Ida Adam Ida he's, he's stepped in to cover for Timu Puki and he, he's done very well he has done very well if you look down he's got an average rating of, of 7 uh, he's knocked in 8 goals for us so, so he has done very well um, he's not supposed to be far from first team football but he has been thrown in at the deep end so let me just show you the the formation that we're going with uh, 4 one 3 2 it, it served us very well and, and it hinges a lot on on the front two uh, playing on uh, attack advanced forwards they they hang on the shoulder of, of the defenders I could do with them both being a bit quicker but it is what it is and it's it's a tactic and formation that has worked quite well for us in the championship um, could do with scoring a few more goals but you know we're, we're top of the table by a, by a point so I, I can't really complain so um, let's uh, let's crack on with the action and as you can see we are top of the league but a difficult trip to Watford who are in fourth um, could really do with not making a mess of this one uh, we, we haven't done too bad this season only only one defeat but uh, a lot of draws to be honest which is which has held us back so we're going with a, a balanced mentality um, Watford could be dangerous so uh, I, I don't want to get too carried away but let's let's go into the game and see how we do um, fitness has been an issue I've got a safe uh, Games come thick and fast in the championship. Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Tuesday. It's uh, it's a tough ask on the players. And as I say, I don't have um, quality backup for the the players that are out. So I do play the you know my best starting eleven all the time. And and it's a heavy workload on them. It is. Uh, Oliver Skip, do you need some encouragement? I think you might. So let's tell you that we have faith in you and he's suitably motivated. Yeah, so heavy match load, it can lead, or it does lead, to a, an increased risk of injuries. But, you know, like I say, as always, it is what it is. I'm asking my assistant for advice on opposition instructions. He knows more than I do. Um, Sometimes it's good to, to put a bit of pressure on uh, the opposition if their their morale is not good. So let's go in hard on Bill Wilmot. 
or Ben Wilmot back to the dressing room and that's what we're going to go with so let's see what we do playing in our change strip long rangy balls forward as as has done us done us proud this season that's why I say oh, I would like the, the front two to be a bit quicker so that they could get onto them but um, yeah we've done quite well with this, this tactic and formation and, and a corner and, and again we've, we've done well from set pieces this season so far near post corner oh it's just bounced off the top of the bar so uh, not a bad start we're 10 minutes in they all look to be fairly happy chance goes begging Troy Deeney puts it over to be honest Tim Krull didn't cover himself in, in glory last time out against Cardiff he was at fault for the goal and this is looking ominous someone needs to get a foot in patient from Watford oh dear oh well done Tim Krull but an offside Tim Krull wasn't to know that and he's made a good stop halfway through the first half let's let's ask for a little bit more shall we come on lads what can you do Mumba down the right hand side usually likes to get to the byline before crossing McLean, he can bang him, decides not to, he does now and it's just passed. That's encouraging. I think we need to work it in a bit more. A few chances gone begging. I would settle for a, a point to, to be honest but when you are going for promotion two points dropped it is not good and, and when that happens usually your, your closest rivals always seem to win so Watford with a highlight right at the end of the first half we keep it out no we don't very disappointing bad time to concede Anyway, let's sort this out at half time. Right, I need to see something else. Uh, second half, boys. Let's take a look at the opposition. Yeah, 6.5, 6.5. Oliver Skip's having a poor game. Didn't want to pull him off so early. We'll see if he can do a bit better in the second half. But if his match rating stays low, he'll have to come off. Defeat. It wouldn't be a disaster, but wouldn't be good. And it would only be our, our second loss of the season. Yeah, Skippy, he's been booked as well. So, yeah. Oliver, you are history. Who's coming on? Right. So, corner to us. What can we do? Near post header. Always oh, a good save from Foster. We've been working hard on set pieces during the week. And it would be nice to have one pay off. Troy Deeney plays it forward to Saar. Dear me, this is not looking good. Oh, he slotted it. He slotted it. 2 0. Right. Boxing day fixture is not going our way. 
right we're going to have to up the mentality we need to get, get back in this game somehow Tim Claw gathers lovely nice one Tim That's that rangy ball forward I was talking about. There's young Ida. He's been shut out. But we got a corner. We need something from this. Come on, boys. Yeah, over the top. As your luck, Troy Deeney comes up with it but gets tackled. I thought he was going to miss that and we'd be in, but no. Cool read that one. We can still get back in this if we snatch one. We're not going to do it like that, are we? That was poor. This is looking ominous. Yeah, a gift. A gift for Troy Deeney. We're 3 0 down. This is our. <laughs> This is our worst performance of the season. <laughs> Dear me. Yeah, he was never going to get the shot away, was he? It's just one of them games that well, you can just tell you're not going to get back into. Could be more humiliation. Well, what did I say earlier about looking a bit of a chump? Called it in, didn't I? Called it in. It's not working, is it? It's not working. Good stop. Good stop. To be honest, I just want this one to be over because we're getting nothing out of it, I don't think. Never say never, but not looking good, is it, people? Yeah, just about sums up, uh, sums up the match for us. That finish there from Todd Cantwell. Yeah, we're just not getting not getting to the, the knockdowns. Mumba in some space. Ball in. And uh, defended, blocked by our own player. Can it get any worse?
Let's have a bit of a shake up. Uh, yeah, let's go a bit more direct. Mix the crosses up a bit. Yeah. I think I'm wasting my time. Because that's one thing we haven't got now. 20 minutes. Pull it across. Oh, close but no cigar. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. And it could get worse. Yeah, just let him walk through. Just let him walk through. Corner. And that's gone over, thankfully. Another highlight to them. And that one's gone in. That one's flown in. Cracking, cracking header. 4 0. Yeah, hair dryer treatment for this, I think, boys, when we get you in. 10 minutes to go. I just want to see the back of this one. It's not doing our goal difference any good either, is it? Oh. <laughs> Tim Crawl and goal. Dear me. Yep. Tells you everything you need to know about this game. Into time added on. I just want to go home. <laughs> Five nil. Oh, there it is. It's all over. <laughs> you were not good enough today. Should have won it. I don't know about that, but yeah, terrible. Terrible. Well, sorry, people. I've had to uh, disappoint you all there with that performance. Let's hope we can turn it round in a, a couple of days' time against Queens Park Rangers. But yeah, not good. Not good at all. So, how does that leave us? Yep, we're off. We're off the top spot, but we're still we're still second. Um, Forest and Watford close behind. I really do want that automatic promotion. I, d I don't want to go through the playoffs, but uh, if we have to, we have to. But that I don't know where that came from. To be honest, that five nil that was absolutely terrible. It really was. So uh, let's uh, let's draw a veil over that one, and I hope you can join me for the game against Queens Park Rangers. Hopefully, you'll see. A bit of performance from our boys but uh, thanks for joining me thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you all again in the next one